All right. So I know I've been kind of slacking on these videos. Let's get right into week six. Um, actually, a pretty decent week. I went ten and five on my straight up predictions. Um, had Ken, uh, Kansas City, Baltimore, Miami, Cincy, Minnesota, Houston, Washington, Las Vegas, Los Angeles Rams, and Buffalo as my winners. And the ones I lost on were Cleveland, Jacksonville, the Jets, Detroit, and Dallas's winners. Um, that Dallas and Chargers game was really good. And I watched that Cleveland 49ers game. That. Uh, Cleveland, I, I'm not saying they're going to make like a playoff run really or anything, let alone a deep one. I feel like they're going to be that team like Detroit's been in the past, where, like a better version of what Detroit's been in the past, where they're not a good team, or at least a great team, but they've ruined seasons for other teams. Looking at Detroit of last year, for example, with Green Bay. Now, let's get into this week's predictions. Oh, I do need to address something I screwed up on last week. I went on some rant about Michigan being number one in the polls over Georgia. That was CBS's polls. Yeah, I'm a little embarrassed about that one. But anyhow, week seven tonight. Jacksonville at New Orleans by, by uh, New Orleans is a two-point favorite. I understand they're at the New Orleans Superdome or whatever it's called these days, Mercedes-Benz Dome or whatever. Um, yeah, there's going to be a home field advantage. Kind of. I don't think New Orleans fans are quite as excited or passionate as they were, you know, the last, like, decade and a half. Just saying. New Orleans is so inconsistent. Not Jacksonville is too this year, but I think it's easier to kind of at least assume what you could get out of Jacksonville, where New Orleans is a coin toss. So I'm going to go with Jacksonville 24-13. Buffalo at New England, it's not going to be the blowout that I think a lot of people think it should be or could be. Buffalo's offense, obviously it's not firing on all cylinders. They could go off again and get like 45 points this week, but the Patriots do have a solid defense. Let's see, Buffalo's fared by 9. I'm going to say 20-9. to nine. Uh, Baltimore minus 3 at Detroit. I don't, I don't fully get that one. I think Detroit's a more complete team, and they're at home. 24-23 in a really good game. Cleveland minus 3 at Indy. Cleveland's defense, they showed up. They were able to beat San Fran. I know a lot of people might get a little too high on them. They're playing Indy. I love Gardner Minshew. The person as much as anyone. Minshew mania, man. He's got to struggle against that Cleveland defense, though. Like, you got to assume so, right? 17-13, Cleveland. Atlanta at Tampa, minus 2.5. Gonna go Tampa Bay, nineteen to fourteen. Washington minus two and a half against the Giants. Give me Washington twenty to six. Vegas minus two and a half versus Chicago. Yeah, that's upsetting to only see minus two and a half. But I get it though. We'll have a rookie and a quarterback. But so Chicago, I believe. I think their backup's a rookie. Justin Fields, I think, is probably gonna be out and let, or he's gonna be playing with a bad throwing hand. So he won't notice any difference in his passing game whatsoever, probably. <sighs> Give me Vegas 27-10. We looked good last time Aiden O'Connell was in there. Um, Arizona at Seattle, minus 7.5. 24-15. Pitt at the Rams, minus 3. Rams 28-17. The Chargers at KC, minus 5.5. KC 24-21. Um, Green Bay minus one at Denver. Green Bay twenty to seventeen. I'm just not looking forward to that game. It's gonna be so embarrassing if Green Bay loses. And, you know, lifelong Packers fan at Denver. That's not the gimme game everyone thinks. Like you look at Russ's stat line, it's better than Mahomes. It's just that whole team's a dumpster fire. And guess what? Just like we learned last, we've been learning the last year or two without. Brady, Belichick's not a great coach. We might be learning about Sean Payne when he doesn't have Drew Brees, which is saying a lot because Russell's a decent quarterback, but that team can't do anything. Miami at Philly minus 2.5. I'm going back and forth on this game. Philly might be pissed after losing and come out there and just play the absolute asses off. But Miami, man. Oh, God. This could be a Super Bowl preview right here. Say Miami 30-28. to 28. 
And then the Monday night is San Fran minus six and a half at Minnesota. Minnesota is another rough environment to play. Um, I think San Fran wins. They'll bounce back and get the dub. I don't think six and a half will cover though. Uh, I'm gonna say twenty-seven to twenty-three. Uh, let's see. I'm all burned out right now, so I'm gonna keep this video quick. We'll talk college ball in a day or two. Try to think if I have any thoughts to share right now on college ball. Um, oh, yeah, let's talk about Notre Dame kicking USC's ass because that was absolutely great. And honestly, depending on how this goes, that might just take in Caleb Williams out of the Heisman race. Depend on how, you know, like Bo Nix plays over and over again. Washington's quarterback, who I always forget about. Um, I still always want to throw Sam Hartman in, but I know that's probably not going to happen, right? Unfortunately. Um... Maybe Drake May in North Carolina. Marvin Harrison, over, you know, if we're going non-quarterback over at OSU. Um, but, yeah. That's all my thoughts are on college football right now. I won't go more into it. I have to check some of the matchups and the spreads and stuff. Um, I do plan to get more in-depth again, like I said, on some of the coverage and make longer videos after I move here in a couple weeks and just have more time i'd rather i'd rather this actually feel more like a tv show try to take my time make this feel professional not of this um and stalls and like i did go in depth into the numbers like i said i'm just working on literally recording trying to do one takes on my phone with this so that being said you know we got any predictions buddy he likes keen he likes teams that are named after cats. So, Clemson. Not bad, not bad. LSU. The Bengals. Auburn. The Lions. I think he'd be a Lions fan, honestly. That's okay. Even being in the NFC North with my team, the Packers, all these years, they've always been the little brother you kind of hope does well eventually, just not against you. At least I was not the Bears or the Vikings, and on that note, we'll end it here.